Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are going to discuss the solution to the problem verify pre-order serialization of a binary tree. You're given a string like this which is supposedly a pre-order traversal of another tree. In this case it's this string represents a tree like this. Okay. The goal is to find if this given string is a valid string or not. Now it may be an invalid string which means that you cannot possibly recreate a tree like this from it. Now one thing to keep in mind is that the traversal or the string is based on the pre-order traversal of a tree. Basically saying that you explore the current node and then you look at the left node, recurse from it, find all of its children and do the same exact logic from that point on. And then you do the same for the right hand side. So explore the current, recurse to the left and then recurse to the light. Okay, now let's get on to a couple of simple examples. Let's look at a couple of trees here. So X is X, A's and B's are just an abstraction away from the digits themselves because they don't mean anything actually. In this question, we don't care about a binary search tree, we just care about a binary tree. So the X, A's and B's don't matter. Let's look at it now abstractly. We want to know two things here. First is that any valid node, any <coughs> node which is a character, which is X, will always produce two children. In case like this, it is A and B. In case like this, is this is one A and one hash. This is also allowed. In a case like A, it is going to produce two hashes, which is also allowed. A valid node always has two children and an invalid node always has zero children. An invalid node means a null node basically. So from this point on, you'll see no more children coming off from it. Basically, they sort of outline this entire sort of structure. Okay. It also looks like we can exploit this property of pre-order traversal uh, because it says that you first explore the current one. So maybe you can have some sort of a count here saying that, you know what, I explored a valid node, I have two more spaces now for each of my children. Whether they be an invalid node or valid, I don't care, but I have two more spaces. For each valid node, we're going to have two more spaces like this. Similarly, for an invalid node, which produces zero children, we are going to have zero more slots available. Now these spaces and slots are equivalent, basically saying that, you know, I have two more slots available to be filled in by the children. Each valid node produces two, each invalid node produces zero. There's one more thing. Those nodes themselves consume one space. So a node like X would consume one space and create two more. So plus two and then minus one, right? An invalid node similarly will produce zero more nodes and consume one. Basically, this gives a sum of plus one. This gives a sum of minus one. We are going to exploit that property because now we'll look at a solution. We'll look at the original string once again, and we'll do a quick dry run of it to understand what's happening. First thing, we'll start the slots from one. Why is that? Because you want to have the root node available, right? You can't start from zero. If you start from zero, you have no more spaces for the root itself. So we'll start from one, having one space for the root. Now the root itself is nine, which means that it will consume this one. So we had one slot available. Nine consumes one slot now having zero, but also produces two more. So the current score is now two. Similarly, when you see three, three will consume one and produce two more. Four will consume one, produce two more. Hash will now consume one. Hash again will now consume one. So on and so forth, you can go increasing the score up and down always by plus one or minus one depending upon whether you see a character or in hash. Now one or actually two more conditions based on these slots which we want to keep in mind. Slots are always greater than zero when you're running the program. You don't want to encounter a zero in middle say here because at this point on as soon as you encounter a zero you can say that I cannot explore any more slots because I don't have any more spaces to fill. 
regardless of how many hashes or digits there were you just have to exit right away saying that you know what we don't have any more slots and this looks like an invalid tree so slots always have to be greater than 0 while running if they are less than equals to 0 we exit now slot should also be equals to 0 at the very end saying that you know what at the very end we don't want any more extra slots available this means that something went wrong inside of the tree and nothing was consumed why see because the outline is always these hashes the outline is always going to give you a score of 0 at the very end okay with that in mind with the plus 1 minus 1 logic in mind and the slots initializing by 1 we can now go on to coding this so let's start from slots which is going to be set to 1 this is the number of available slots and we'll iterate over each node in preorder dot split by comma the input given to us is this format so we'll just split it out with commas have a big list of nodes that's it and we'll say you know what if the current number of slots is less than equals to 0 I want to return false now I'll do slots plus equals to basically saying increase or decrease by 1 when you see the appropriate one so we'll do minus 1 if the current node is a hash else do a plus 1 as simple as that at the end we'll return and say that slots equals to 0 basically have you consumed everything or not and that is it that is the solution to the problem which is the problem verify pre-order serialization of a binary tree we were able to exploit the fact that this is a pre-order traversal and then we just had to do a counting okay let's talk about the space time complexities the space complexity is going to be order of one because we are only ever showing one simple variable here that's it what about the time complexity uh, we're going to iterate over all of the possible nodes in the given string so if the string is of length n we are going to have order of n nodes which means that the total time complexity is going to be order of n and that is it that is the solution for the problem anyways if you enjoyed this video give it a like if you disliked it do a double thumbs down so that to really let me know if you have any comments feedback suggestions i'm always there in the comment section below anyways uh subscribe for more and thanks for watching